The following program is rated parental guidance. It may contain scenes depicting geekery, toys, photography, toy photography, photography geeks, dad jokes, dad bods, and bad words. The presence of an adult is highly recommended. Not. From the basement of Adonis Bar in Quezon City, this is Geek Clicks. With your host, Chris Lina. And special guest, Geek Clicks. All right. Hi, hello, mabuhay. This is Christina. It still gets me every time, but thank you. Thank you so much for every to everyone who's currently watching. Again, uh, this is Chris, and uh, we welcome you to our show, Geek Clicks. Uh, this is a show for uh, toy collectors, uh, toy photographers, uh, toy customizers. Uh, ano ba? Lahat ng geeks, actually. Lahat, lahat welcome dito. So let us know if you want to get featured or if you want us to um, interview you para lang din ma mas malaman pa namin ang mga businesses if you are into that kind of thing, into the geek world, or basta i-share nyo lang i-passion nyo. You're welcome here in Geek Clicks. And again, thank you to everyone who's currently watching. Thank you to our watchers, uh, Maki Maglonzo, who's the first one to comment. Thank you watching all the way from Parañaque. Thank you, Jordan Sabado, always a supporter of the show. Thank, thank you, thank you so much, Arnold Dolva. Yeah, and maraming, maraming salamat. And if you're watching this live, please use the hashtag GeekClicksLive and hashtag GeekClicksReplay. If you're going to watch this on replay, it's going to be available on YouTube because for some reason, Facebook is, has been deleting the video. So I'm not sure how that's going to go, but um, YouTube would retain the videos and we're live on Facebook on, and on YouTube. So uh, let us know um, what your thoughts are and everything else. So salamat, salamat sa lahat na nanonood. Share the stream and um, yon hi din kay Christian Cabrera, uh, one of our friends who's uh, now, uh, ha who has been handpicked by our sponsor, main sponsor, which is uh, Henry Sasana yon. Hindi ko ma-point. Basta yan. Yung nakikita nyo sa taas, Henry's yan. Um, Henry's is one of our major sponsors uh, sa show. So watch out. We're going to have a competition soon. Um, Christian Cabrera would be one of the judges. So um, let us know. Let us know what uh, your thoughts are. And if ever you want something else, share nyo lang. Message nyo yung, nyo yung page and everything else. Um, you're, you guys are welcome. And speaking of Henry's, um, Henry's has... Uh, a clearance sale, uh, especially sa Fuji Film, but they have other uh, sales uh, or other um, items on sale. So uh, check out their page. I will post the link in the comment section. So yeah, and um, maraming maraming salamat sa Henry sa kanilang pagsuporta sa ating uh, sa ating show. And uh, speaking of suporta, kailangan din natin ang inyong suporta sa um, Toy Fi Community Olympics. So, uh, meron din tayong Olympics for the toys, Olympics, di ba? Uh, currently, we have um, several uh, people who have uh, participated. So, uh, medal round na, pumasok tayo sa final. So, yan, si um, Ultra Electromagnetic Shots. Yan, isa sa ating mga... Um, Current na lumalaban and also, hanapin ko lang ha, yun, si Toy Fanatic yan. So, thank you, thank you so much uh, sa inyong suporta. One, uh, one like would help us out uh, a bit or actually it would go a long way. So, paki-like na lang din if you are, um, if you're watching this because we need your support yan. Like, ano, like wars ang nangyayari. Pero, it's not hard for you to like it because it's, they are great photos yan. Salamat sa Team Philippines for representing for representing us uh, properly. Uh, thank you so much, Jim. Yeah, and congratulations on your late, uh, latest feature sa, um, sa, sa Toy Pick community. Alan Parma, the man behind the intro, <laughs> and siya rin nag voiceover nun. Kasi may Adonis stuff, di ba? So, alam niyo mga dad jokes talaga. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you so much, Alan Parma. He's been a great ally, and um, he's been supporting the show through graphics videos because he's a video... Um, tag dito? Um, 
nakalimutan ko ang exact but it, it has something to do with uh, graphics and video design so yan nakalimutan ko exactly yon thank you thank you so much baka sa settings na unpublish after video ends probably um but i think it's yeah it's probably the facebook gaming yeah we'll see um we'll figure it out and thank you so much for watching mp noble um talk dito talk dito uh, my neighbor yan katawing bahay ko lang din uh, si mp noble thank you for Thank you, thank you so much for watching, and thank you um, to all, to the community, to everyone who's been keeping the show alive. Thank you to these three, the Philippine Toy Photography Club um, main admin or uh, active admins. Um, well, of course, we're not gonna dismiss the the founders of the Philippine Toy Photography Club, Cher Padilla and uh, Nell Lizon. Thank you so much. Kung wala kayo, hindi kami magkakakilala. So salamat. So these three, uh, the active admins, Power P, uh, Photography, and Kinesarek, uh, they've been very active in keeping the community, uh, I don't know, uh, a very peaceful community to to share your uh, geekery around. So maraming maraming salamat. Thank you to our major sponsor, uh, Sir uh, Geoff Villaruz. He has um, an ongoing sale sa kanyang toy group. So check it out and message him if you're interested. Thank you to our other sponsors, uh, Carlos Balandra, uh, Hobby Toys Laguna, Sourcing LA Collectibles. And um, we're now halfway through the event and hopefully maka-join yung next guest natin uh, next week because he has a very tight schedule. Wesley Ventura UC and last but not the least, Pat Cinco will join us the last week of um, August. Yan. Tapos na ba ang ating mga announcements? Yes. So maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng nanonood. Uh, Antonio Alcantara all the way from the Middle East. Thank you for watching. All right, so the the guest, um, our guest, uh, is well actually. Kalam niya naman dahil he uh, we posted a photo, um, and we posted uh, what do you call this a poster um, and announcements. Um, our next guest is a good friend of mine. Uh, so at tag dito, well hinair na niya ako sa kanya mga uh, sa tag dito sa birthday binyag ng kanyang anak uh, si Fiona and um, we've been friends since 2016 if I'm not mistaken uh, all 2016 yon uh, we met through um, a, a group in the Philippines uh, that's in or that's meant for lightsabers so yon um, ladies and gentlemen Mr. Paolo Garces good evening hi everyone hello Oh, how are you? How are you doing our lives? We've been doing it for a long time, so how are you? Yeah, uh, doing okay. Um, doing it's nice. been a year since the pandemic, and mm. it's been a long time. Yeah. Nice. Ayun nga and mukhang nag ano nga eh mukhang nas, mas nagka-time ka sa hobby sa mm-hmm. slash uh, sort of sideline mo na to eh no or mm-hmm. sa somewhat business na rin eh. So I, I'm really glad and we're going to dwell more into that uh maya maya but anyway uh welcome and thank you so much for your time today. Um magkukuwentuhan lang tayo dito about your work. So okay. Good evening, Donny Ray. Thank you so much for tuning in. Because we don't have much customizers, well, um, before. So, um, ngayon yung mga guests natin mostly customizers, uh, starting from the first, um, first episode ng buwan, which is uh, si Sir, uh, what do you call this? Si Lloyd Hondo, who's also a toy customizer. Um, now you and Wesley hopefully joins us next week. Uh, all right. So when. Unang unang tanong, when did you start um, collecting or when did you start customizing? Um, I start around 2013, I think. Mm-hmm. Mostly with Warhammer 40k. Um, I heard about it mostly mostly because of the lore. Kasi interesting mm-hmm. story niya. And then, napadaan ako Mutual Grounds. Nakosap kasi Sir Freddy, the owner. And mm-hmm. that's what I- got me started. Nice. Ang galing ah dahil what they call this 2013 and now kaya wal well, kaya naman pala yung skill level mo. Um you started uh early then. Um I would say well 80 years na no. So uh new skill level is really really great na. Um hasang hasana if I may say. Now hmm. you've been sa well sa pagkakilala ko sa yo. You're also a geek when it comes to tabletop games, right? Not yes. only War- Warhammer. Ano pa yung mga madalas mong nilalaro? Uh, so tabletop. Uh, initially it was Warhammer, and mm-hmm. then I tried X-wing Philippines. I sorry, just X-wing. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's enough. Yeah, you're moving uh, the starships. Uh-huh. It's squad combat. Oh, okay. And then you use dice. Yeah, I, I think you know. I think you'd like that. I did X-wing. Mm-hmm. Um, I tried Infinity. 
mm-hmm. which is ano, it's an interesting game because mm-hmm. most of these games you uh, I go you go it's the common system for infinity I tried it out because mm. um may nangyayari during sa turn ng kalaban mo hindi ka uh-huh. nakatungangala kapag hindi nagawa uh-huh. siya so that was interesting oh, and man. then lastly ngayon I'm trying out Marvel Crisis Protocol Ah, there for the figures now. Yes, Tama ba? Uh, ah, the Marvel figures. Nice. I love it. Now, kasi yun nga eh, that's one thing that I I wanted to ask you about but mm-hmm. why not do it live, 'di ba? Kasi um I know na marami kang or may, may rich history ka when it comes to uh, tabletop games. Kasi mm-hmm. um you also play or you play hindi lang casual eh. <laughs> kasi yun nga, in this case, uh, you have figures, you, you actually paint figures mm-hmm. which we're going to go to next. Okay. Um, next question is, siguro ano, um, curious lang ako, ano meron sa Machi, <laughs> Machi Nation? <laughs> Bakit Machi Nation? Ah, okay. Um, yeah. Yung bata ko, I called myself Machi DL. Ah. And then, yeah, so, or Machi, some people would call me on in online games. Machi or Machi. And then, I was playing around for an idea in the shop. Ah. I, sorry, not the shop, but the page. And then mm-hmm. one of my friends who knows that I go by the moniker Machi said, mm-hmm. why not Machination? So, yun lang. Uh, yun lang naman. Nice. Well, ang ganda rin. At least, na, nalaman namin history. Uh, mm-hmm. So, guys, if you're watching this, uh, he, well, kasi marami ang un... Well, hindi naman sa marami, pero um, some are um, unfamiliar with uh, the mini miniatures na pinipaint, uh, mi pinipaint mo. Mm-hmm. Having said that, um, nagsimula sa Warhammer, which um, is very elaborate when it comes to the figures from the casting ngayon, we have 3D printing, right? So, mm-hmm. nag-progress na rin ang, ang, ang technology natin when it comes to this one. And more options for each and every one. Curious ako, do you have your own printer or do you have these printed out for you? Ah, uh, no. Uh, I don't have my own printer. I bought these out, out of the sprue. Parang gunpla. You have to assemble ah. them. Ah, you see? Yeah. So, okay. So that's how it goes. And then you paint them and that's where the magic happens. Unpainted yes. mo sila nakukuha, no? Mm-hmm. Ang ganda. Um, now, ayan, pupunta na tayo sa, ano, sa, sa painting and sa, sa mga gawa mo, which we'll okay. share in a bit. Um, simulan natin sa Holy Grail. Uh, do you have any Holy Grail in your collection? Well, I'm sure you do, but yeah, ah. it's something na kunwari, ganito ah. Kunwari hmm. pumunta ako sa bahay nyo, yun okay. ang una mong hahanapin na sa tingin mong nawala. <laughs> Or marami kami nagpunta dyan, not just me. <laughs> tingin mong mawala agad. Um, siguro ano, that would be my Marvel Crisis Protocol collection. Kasi ano siya, parang it's Aha. really the only system na I really want to have it painted by the time mm-hmm. matapos na pandemic. So, pagkatapos ito, I can hit the ground running. I want to demo the game to other people. And then, no, kasi I'm a big Marvel fan. So, uh-huh. yun, siya talaga. Pero before that, when I was still playing Warhammer, that mm-hmm. would have been my Space Wolves army. Kaso ah. kasi, ano eh, um, nagbago na yung panlasa ko in okay. gaming. Before, gusto ko, I want big, huge-ass armies. Para, mm-hmm. I, I want to move a lot of tanks, a lot of Marines. Okay. Pero ngayon, um, tumatanda na, sumasakit yung likod, saka kalaro. So, I, I can't spend two hours playing in a game. So, I want to I play see. shorter skirmish games. Okay. So, kaya ako, ano, kaya ganito ako ngayon. Kaya nagbag, alright. It makes sense na yun. Oh, naman, I can relate dun sa, sa pag-upo na part. Uh, most of our viewers can, I'm sure. Um, Warhammer, one of the best indeed. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. Well, especially kung ano ka, diba? Nagsimula ka sa D&D and then you want to go and if ever, ako kasi, I'm, I'm a red alert type of guy so I enjoy Warhammer also because mm-hmm. kind of relates and Warcraft as well. Mm-hmm. And having said that, um, eto, now you're into Marvel, one of the things na uh, ngayon mas na-enjoy mo na, sabi mm-hmm. mo, which, how big are these figures uh, each? Wala. Um, about this one? Yeah. It's pretty small. Sige, nga, pakita natin. Yeah. It's about the size of a thumb. Wow. It's really small. And pinagpipintura ako, I have magnifying glasses kasi mm-hmm. otherwise, naduduling na ako. It's, uh, the scale is pretty small. Um, Warhammer figures, they're supposedly ah, yeah. 32 millimeters. 
Marvel wow. Crisis is 40 millimeters. Pero okay. the skills, um, the proportions are different. Warhammer okay. is hero scale, meaning mas malaki yung ulo. Whereas uh-huh. MCT or Marvel Crisis is uh-huh. realistic. So they're, they're really mm-hmm. smaller in, in reality. Mm-hmm. All right. So so in its essence, parang ano siya, parang um naging what do you call this? Mas naging uh well detailed, mas kailangan maging detailed because it follows the human anatomy somewhat. Yes. Mhm. Diba? Ang galing ah dahil ayan no, napapawaw ng ating mga friends uh, and them Thanos bayan ang ganda. Um and you you buy these, you you mm-hmm. paint them out. Nabanggit mo nga meron kang ano eh. Meron kang, I was about to ask that, uh, meron kang magnifying glasses. Um, yes. <laughs> naka, Nakaaliw dahil ano eh, what do you call this? Dahil I would imagine you like, pan, tawag dito, parang si, yeah. si Tech sa, <laughs> ayun, parang si Tech. Ay, yun na ba yun? Tama ba? Yes. Yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nakaka, well, nakakaano lang din, nakakaaliw lang din dahil sa movie ko lang nakikita yan sa jewelers and kung sino man na nag-investigate ng small stuff and mm-hmm. when you paint okay, mm-hmm. um, may particular brand ka ba na nagli-lean into? Kasi I'm asking this for the people mm-hmm. who are curious to or w- who wants to get into um, miniature painting. Mm-hmm. Uh, tama no? They're called miniatures, uh, yes. miniature tabletop figures mm-hmm. and who wants to get into that. So, ano yung mga equipment na ginagamit mo dito? So, aside from the magnifying glass, okay. um, are you particular about the brushes, the the paint that you use to? Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, oh, kasi, ano siya eh? Um, yeah, and like, uh, like I said before, it's eight years, and it's a lot uh-huh. of trial and error. Uh-huh. I tried cheap brush, I tried expensive brushes, I tried uh, expensive paints to cheaper paints, uh-huh. and Basically, ang bagsak ko is um, if you had to try miniature painting, uh-huh. um, my advice is the, the brands I go for for paint muna is Vallejo. Because, yeah. okay, because um, if with, with, with Warhammer, your first exposure with painting is Citadel, the paints are mm-hmm. really good. The problem is they're really expensive. And Vallejo, it's a Spanish na brand. It's lo- it's available locally, mm-hmm. and they're much cheaper. And they come in dropper bottles, so mm-hmm. malaking bagay yon if ano if you get to paint etc for control. Mm-hmm. And then so aside from Vallejo, I have been trying out Armored Komodo, mm-hmm. which is a local manufacturer na paints. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they're they're great because they're cheaper than Vallejo. And then, there are more paints, so it's really win-win. And then, mm-hmm. lately, I've been trying out... Oh, God, I'm, I forgot the name. Teka, <laughs> I, teka let me get the paint. Okay, okay, okay. And while you're looking at it, enjoy the photos. If you have questions, guys, uh, let us know. <laughs> Ayan. Ayan. It's ano called yun? Arcus. This one? Ah, okay. Yeah, there ah. we go. Yeah, it's oh, also... Cool. Ano, it's a... It's a fairly new company, uh-huh. na locally made. Then, uh, okay. yeah, it's enough. It's it's pretty good. So, mm-hmm. yung tatlo na yon. So, uh, syempre, um, yeah. So for paints, yeah, Vallejo, Armored Komodo, okay. and Arcus. Mm-hmm. And what brushes do you use? Because sabi nga ni ano dito, mm-hmm. ni Arnold Dolva, that's a lot of patience. Given na maliit yung figure and intricate mm-hmm. and details, right? So, uh-huh. ah, having said that, ano ano yung brushes uh, nagamit mo naman? Yeah. Okay. Um for brushes, ano kasi siya? Um I have two kinds of brushes. May brushes na patapon, then may mm-hmm. then may brushes na pang fine details like yung sinabi mm-hmm. ni Sir Arnold. So, yung mga patapon, those are cheap brushes kasi mm-hmm. there are techniques na mabilis pero effective kaso it ruins the brush. So I use mm-hmm. cheap brushes lang. It doesn't matter kahit anong brush. Pero for intricate details, Mm-hmm. I use um, I've used three brushes before. Um, there's Win- Winsor and Newton, mm-hmm. which is a a brand in the UK. Meets I mean dito. Sometimes they order online, mm-hmm. and then the other one is uh, oh crap I forgot the name. But I'll, I'll jump on to the next one. Okay. And that the uh-huh. other one is Rosemary and Co. 
which is also another British brand. Um, mm. Kasi ano, uh, usually cheap brushes, they can go for like 20, 50 pesos. Uh, mm-hmm. These brushes, they go for 300 to 600. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> just for brush. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. So, Pero, investment hmm. naman eh, I would say, di ba? Yes. Oh. Right. Kasi ano siya, um, pinakamalaking problem ko dati, when I started out painting was, yung, kiba, ito yung brush. Mm-hmm. So, ang tendency ng brush pag tagal is, spread out siya. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what you want is a brush that keeps the point. Mm-hmm. Kaya ano, and usually it's the really expensive brushes that keep the point. So, mm-hmm. mas mahal siya, pero yung, iso, yung peace of mind ko nandun naman. Uh-huh. So, yun lang. Um, for reference na rin, uh, Winsor Newton, usually, yeah, about 500, 600. Ayun, the second brush type was Raphael, ah, which is French. Okay. Mm-hmm. Pero available online then available din naman locally. Mm-hmm. They go for about around 600, yeah, unfortunately. Ganun din. Uh, si Windsor, uh, sorry, si Mary Rose and Co. Siya yung pinaka-preferred ko currently kasi it's 300. It's 50% cheaper. In, it's about half as good. Mm-hmm. So, uh, ayun, um, there. Nice. So, that's paints. Nice. That's oh, brushes. Brushes, yep. And then ano the last ba? one would be a palette. A palette, okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, so normally, di pa pag-palette, um, Paint sa mga uh, yung palette to manic oil painting, it's just a wooden plate. Yeah. Um, when you're miniature painting, you can just use that or a tissue paper. Ang problem lang kasi is mainit dito and okay. mabilis matuyo yung pintura. Oh, nga. So, nakaka-stress siya na parang paglagay ko ng pintura, kailang ilagay ko agad bago matuyo. Kasi pag natuyo mo na, <laughs> shock, sayang yung binayad ko. Uh-huh. So, uh, nag- Ano, ang recommendation sa akin before was to use a wet palette. Mm-hmm. It's basically a sponge tapos mm-hmm. may baking paper on top. The idea is uh, the sponge has water mm-hmm. and the water flows up into the paint keeping it mm-hmm. dr- keeping it wet. So as in literally you can leave it overnight kinabukasan that the paint is still there. Nice. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's yung, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit of an investment, pero you can make it at home. As in, take out container, sponge ng nanay mo, baking <laughs> paper ng nanay mo, which I did, <laughs> to try it out. So yun, yeah, there. Nice. Okay, so at least man lang, I mean, 80 years of experience, you've already mm-hmm. uh, seen what works and what doesn't, di ba? Mm-hmm. Now, uh, eto, mag-comment, uh, basahin lang natin mga comment. Magnifying sure. glass, uh, <laughs> may naasar na, na, na isang member namin, si Tito Rafi Panganiban, may magnifying glasses daw siya. I'm not sure ano yung sinabi ni Alan Parma na ginagamit sa telepono. But I think it's something that <laughs> could be related or Arco something. Um, Arcos, probably. Uh, I think it's a term. Um, Alan Parma, na, nakalim, maka, makalimutin sa iyo yung taong ginagamit. Um, the, the figures are beautiful, ang galing, sabi. And Perry Chua, um, also, uh, what, do you call, what do you call this, um, a fine arts graduate, um, used Newton, Windsor and Newton before, and yes, maganda ang quality mm-hmm. talaga, mm-hmm. sabi niya. So, alright, balik natin sa, sa figures mo, um, okay. or sa, sa gawa mo. You mm-hmm. won uh, several awards. Uh, one of them is, ito, pakita natin. One of the recent one was Modoc, right? Yes. Uh, so tell us more about uh, the concept, the competition, and how um, how you won. So yeah, tell us more about this one. Okay. Um, the competition is called Brush Beast. It's an international competition featuring different categories. Uh-huh. So sumali ako ang under single figure. And uh, for that one, kailangan lang na i-show a picture before mm-hmm. para malaman nila na start of competition, like start ka, gano'n. Kasi, syempre, may mga madaya na... Um, uh-huh. Hi, si Ma- Hi, Milo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ano, kasi may mga ano, para prepared na, etc. So, I joined single figure. And then, at the time, I had two figures na naka-prime na, ready for painting. Okay. And it was either the Hulk or si Modoc. Mm-hmm. And ako, ano, I was leaning towards Modoc kasi it's 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 a pretty uncommon figure, right? Kasi ang weird yeah. na nature niya. Yep. And then, I consulted my wife. She agreed, yeah, okay, let's go Modoc. And then, for Modoc, I wanted to try something different. 
kasi the idea is um he's a giant brain and he has mm-hmm. psionic powers so parang i wanted to play with the concept na the more he uses his powers parang the more it takes a toll on him so parang tumanda uh-huh. siya okay so and then ano ano rin eh i've never painted an old person's skin so pinag-aralan ko siya etc and i wa- i've never tried it and I want to try it for this competition. Kasi ano eh, um, one of the painters I follow in YouTube, Squidmar, parang his, mm-hmm. uh, his adage was to paint bravely. And ayun, parang, parang if I wanted to have a chance to win, I wanted to experiment and then have fun. Bahala na if it's ah. or ano. Mm-hmm. So At least when, you learn along the way then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, parang ano, I really did not think I would win. Parang, ang naisa, ah, sa isip ko lang is, alam ko I'm better than I was eight years ago. And then, mm-hmm. tingnan natin yeah. internationally how that would be. Parang, uh-huh. gusto ko lang makita ng yardstick kung gano'n pa kalayo yung mara- kailangan kong marating. Mm-hmm. And Make hindi can expect. Akala ko nung talaga joke siya. Kasi <laughs> ano, para may group chat kaming painters. Parang kinakongratulate uh-huh. ako. So, ayun. Akala ko joke. And then, yeah. Unfortunately, totoo. <laughs> and <laughs> hanggang ngayon, ano, it still feels weird. Parang imposter syndrome. Ato People eh. keep okay. telling me na maganda, yeah. pero inside uh-huh. my head, parang, yeah, basta ano, parang I feel like I don't deserve it. Pero mm. na, nagsisink in naman na, yeah, I guess I guess I did. Well, yun nga eh, the, uh, sa akin, ang, ang revelation ngayon ah, kasi I've seen this figure, um, but not really zoom in. I didn't mm-hmm. do that until now, until nung sinabi mm-hmm. mo na old skin siya. <laughs> ngayon ko na-realize, oo oh, nga no, parang siyang tumanda. Ah, uh, man, oo oh, nga no, it, it's just some, it, it just sunk in na uh, ang ganda lang din ng, ng concept na ginawa mo dito. And at the same time, I appreciate na you took you took the challenge regardless if you're going to win or not. But basta mm-hmm. i-challenge, sige. I I love it. It's very para sa akin it's inspiring. No no joke to ah. And mm-hmm. eto sabi nila natutuwa nga sila. Um well, congratulations okay. uh sa win. Um that's a nice piece, yeah, sabi nila. Ang galing. And, uh, uy, uh, Milo says, admin, please ask Paolo about NMM that he did. Yeah, can you tell us more? Sige, na, cuts out of the bag. Okay, sige. So, NMM means non-metallic metal. The idea ah. is to, kasi usually for painting, ah. um, there, there are metallic paints. That's, um, they have colors and metal pigments. So, um, mm-hmm. they reflect light like real mm-hmm. metal and then for this one you i use the non-metallic metal technique which is just to just use regular paint to i uh, know to make it look like it's gold to make it look like it's silver etc ah. yeah so these are not really metal or metallic uh colors yes it's yeah it's grays and yellows oh wow yeah Sorry, ano speechless ako. <laughs> Sorry, let's go ahead. Sige, tell us more. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, ano lang naman siya. I mean, na, ano siya eh? It's a technique na uh, it looks intimidating. Pero ano siya? Um, ano siya? It's where, ano yan? It's the eight years experience uh, working in. Kasi parang, as the, pa- the more I paint, the mm-hmm. more I see, kung saan ako nagkukulang, to the point uh, na, Panigalakad ako, nakatingin ako sa kung ano ng bagay, parang papano okay. yung kinagawa ng ilaw. Pag yung ilaw, ano yung shape niya, as in yung shadow, etc. Talaga tinititigan ko na. So, uh, ayun. Eventually, okay. parang meron ako na-figure out na basic rules on how to mm-hmm. do it. And then, I just kept applying it and applying it dun sa figure until, oh wow, it looks it looks cohesive naman. Mm-hmm. Ganda. Gra- well, yun nga eh, sabi ni ganda na, ganda lahat, grabe. And <laughs> kasi, I mean, I can relate to that because um, I also try to customize using um, pe- paint markers and some brushes mm-hmm. then, like dry brush techniques, um, because these are things that we learned from Gunpla and mga forums dati. Mm-hmm. Uh, but these these figures, or this is an, an entirely different uh, world that we're dealing with. And na-amaze ako lalo dahil I use metallic paint 
for the metallic finish, but you did mm-hmm. not. Ang ganda. So NMM, thank you for throwing that question, Milo. And it's it's something na what admirable, I would say. Ang galing. Mm-hmm. Uh, nastan nastan ako sorry hindi ko na nawala ko tuloy but anyway <laughs> going back all right let's talk about one of your winning pieces then um, okay. this one so yeah, tell us uh-huh. more about the yeah i mean the competition and um, your concept behind this okay um this one was the turn and dead apocalypse competition in the philippine tagos painting group mm-hmm. and sumali ako sa monster category Kasi they were giving out parang 100 armored Komodo paints. Ooh. And uh, at that time, parang ano, medyo limited yung paint ko. Kasi ang paint na ginagamit ko is just for my space wolves. So, kung ano mm-hmm. yung, ano, so that's what I had to work with. And mm-hmm. then, uh, for the reason why that miniature, kasi ano, um, umorder ako dati, Slight mm-hmm. tangent, sorry. Yung order ako dati ng sure. Rising Sun na board game. Familiar mm-hmm. ka ba doon? Yes, yes. Rising Sun. Yes. Yeah. So, dun sa Rising Sun game ko, through Kickstarter, na-delay yung isa sa mga items. And then, as compensation, they gave me this. Ah. And, yeah. So, yun siya. And okay. then, I, I, I have Rising Sun, but I don't have Blood Rage, which is... Mm-hmm. The, this is the Mystic Troll from Blood Rage. So okay. it's been lying in my <laughs> baol for uh-huh. years. So I just, I, you know, right? Why why not play with it? No, so, ngayon, no. Sayang. Yeah, so, ayun, I, ginamit ko siya kasi it's interesting. I've, us- I usually paint at the time Space Marines. So you have men mm. in armor. So I wanted to try something more organic, <laughs> leather, skin, and mm-hmm. wood. Kaya, ayan. Also, um, ngayon, na-realize na, ano, both of my pieces, um, they go for old-looking men. So, mukhang yun ang, <laughs> ano, ko, forte ko. <laughs> Oo nga, no? Well, yeah. you, you I, actually nailed it. But, yeah, go ahead, sorry. Ayan. Sorry. Um, for this one, I wanted, I wanted to, to do a troll, pero I wanted mm-hmm. to be different. So, gusto ko ng albino na troll. So, yun siya. It's a, that's it basically. It's an albino troll in a swamp. So, right. there. And, natuwa mm-hmm. ako dahil, ano eh, albino, well, yun nga eh, when you mention albino troll, that's that's actually how I see. Kasi, it could be mistaken as someone na naaagna sa, I don't know, yung, yung Kratos skin, na it's not albino, or, di ba? But mm-hmm. this one screams an, an albino troll. Ang, ang galing eh, no? What, what your thought is, I mean, comment lang ako doon dahil yung, yung nasa isip mo na concept is something na nakikita sa figure and that's exactly what transpires hindi yung malayo sa concept like what I was mentioning about uh, hindi siya nagmukhang ash uh, yung yung skin tone it looked mm-hmm. like an albino di ba? Mm-hmm. ang galing uh, it's <laughs> ang galing lang din ng technique nito um, hindi ka gano'ng ma-post kasi dati kaya hindi kita tinatanong about this kasi I've been uh, I've been really curious about Paint, or I've been exploring painting, dry brushing, and go on man, just to Im- enhance. Because out of the mm-hmm. box, you know, figures, your toys, natin, that don't look as much or as realistic, diba? Of course, they're mass production, diba? Um, mm-hmm. Figures, go on man, figurines, um, model kits, and we mm-hmm. would need to enhance them by using paint. These are really great um, and inspiring techniques that we see ngayon sa yo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ang galing lang din. Uh, so, Para sa'yo, ano yung, pinaka, uh, ano yung pinaka-challenging na ginawa mo uh, sa lahat-lahat ng mga to? Chinair mo ba siya, siya sa akin? Or sa, sa photos? Uh, or, hindi. Hmm. <laughs> pinaka-challenging? Oo, oh, yung uh-huh. matagal ka, yung nag-isip ka ng matagal, yung pinaka, I don't know, <laughs> yung pinaka-challenging. That would be the, no, the troll. Kasi, control, like that, I said, uh, yeah, tumalan okay. ako dyan without ano, um, Sanay lang again, parang sanay lang ako sa people in metal suits. I've mm-hmm. never done leather a lot. I've never done skin a ah, lot. Yeah. So, parang nangangapa ako dyan. Humingi ako ng advice sa mga ko. Ayun, so, right. yeah, it's Ay, interesting. Pati rin yung base, the parang water effect. I've never yeah. done, done that before. Actually, okay. sa likod niyan, mukha siya mm-hmm. tumapon, tumapon, nag-leak siya sa likod, pero hindi halata sa harapan. Pero ayun. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah. still, it, I think it might lo- it might go in its favor. Because eh? I mean, it's a swamp anyway, di ba? Mm-hmm. It's a swamp troll. Ang galing. Dahil ayun nga, natuto ang ating mga friends dito. Um, may question from Ar- Arnold Dolva. Have mm-hmm. you tried using an airbrush sa mga figures mo? What's your take Not on yet. this? Not yet. Ano, mm-hmm. Pero kasi ano, parang when I was starting, I seriously did consider using an airbrush. Kasi parang ang bilis, tas ang smooth ng effect agad. Mm-hmm. Pero one of the, ano, one of ma, the senior Warhammer hobbyists advised mm-hmm. na if you're going to airbrush, make sure na alam mo yung basics ng brush muna. And so para inisip ko, sige, masarik mo ni brush and then I can airbrush after. And then, uh, parang, I just kept mas- I just kept working on the brush techniques until I know I got really comfortable and nakalimutan ko ni airbrush and then nag transition ako from Warhammer into a smaller scale team like hmm. Marvel Crisis Protocol so um for me uh at for me as a gamer airbrushing makes sense if I'm painting a large army siguro if I start taking commissions ah. for large armies I okay. will use an airbrush, pero I really am interested in studying mm-hmm. about it. Ano lang para maintenance lang ako in maintenance on how I to see. use it. Yeah, it's you know, it's a whole different thing altogether. Pero mm-hmm. I'm very interested. All right. Well, actually, that came from a gunpla builder, Arnold Dolva. So, alam ko naga gunpla to si si Arnold. But anyway, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, a, a good take on it. Na I, I love the fact that you mentioned na. Kailan mo muna ma, ma master ang dynamics ng brush before you go into an airbrush. Mm-hmm. Kasi ang galing eh no? Ang, ang ganda ng, ng mindset mo be, behind that and um inadapt mong mindset behind that. Now this is one thing that I'm curious about. Let me show you the figure. Uh, ang ganda ng ng ginawa mo <laughs> sa totoo lang, ah. totoo ako. Tell us more anong pumasok sa isip mo bakit mo siya ginawa and um yeah, er, tell us more. Sige. <laughs> I'll let you talk. Okay. So this one's a commission piece. It's my first commission piece since like starting machination. I've done other commission pieces before, pero parang unofficial or parang patago. So I think talagang parang loud and proud ako na commission piece. Um, I was approached by someone mm-hmm. and they wanted to, uh, kung willing ako magpaint ng Vegeta. And since uh-huh. back, uh, ever since I was a kid, a really big fan of Dragon Ball Z. So yeah, I wanted I wanted to, and another thing, because um, the anime technique it's very different from the technique I normally use. True. So nakapanibago siya. This one took me two months. Wow. Because I had to figure out mukhabas yung anime. Um, because ano rin eh, uh, the problem kasi is the scale. This is one foot. Malaki siya. Hmm. Compare okay. sa pinipintura ko na pinipintura ko na parang 2 to 3 inches. Mm-hmm. Kasi parang the smaller you paint, the higher the contrast has to be para ma- ah. ma-process siya ng mata mo. Yeah. And then parang the bigger you go, kailangan mas subtle yung differences ng highlights to shadows. So, um, ano siya, as in, ano, ang layo ng ano, ng unang version ko nito sa mukha and then I kept practicing um to meet din ako ng references there are other people who paint in this style in instagram uh-huh. so yeah yan, pinag- cool. pinag-aralan ko siya and okay. ano rin ang problem ko kasi is ang laki mm-hmm. niya um normally <laughs> sipit eh. paint ako oh, oh one uh-huh. foot ang, ang bigat seryoso okay. and then uh-huh. ang problem ko kasi is that kunyari nagpe-paint ako uh-huh. meron kaming brush holder i uh, miniature holder so parang I'm holding it like this, and then I can paint it like that. Uh-huh. So, parang you're you're touching it as close as possible without uh-huh. really touching the mini. Because if you're touching the mini, you're scrubbing the paint off. Ah, uh-huh. true. Okay, so in this one, yeah, it's it was a bit of a challenge. <laughs> Some bigate eh, and lakay ang bigat Uh-oh. at the same time, de ba? It's not. It, I'm I'm sure it's relatively heavy because dahil um. You've been used to uh, miniatures. Ang galing. Mm-hmm. Nung nakita ko to, parang wow. Sabi ko, parang saan ang galing to? Kasi I, I, I've never seen you post 
before this one, this is one of the f- uh, the first that I've seen actually. Na kaya biglang wow, sabi ko, grabe to. Tas, I've seen the progress from then on. Ina you know, pala, eight years of experience naman na pala kasi siya. So, um, sabi nga ni sel, uh, sabi nga ni Milo, cell shading on that Vegeta is amazing. It is mm-hmm. very amazing. Um, Perry Chua asks, uh, are you familiar with Frank uh, Frazetta? No, for sake of the money, the Kininya. Uh, mm-hmm. What is he about? Yeah, tell us more, Perry, sa comments, mamaya kung what he's all about. Um, and we'll talk more about that. Kasi mali mo, di ba? Um, kilala pala. Na hindi, he goes on to a different name. Uh, so, right, one of your last works uh, is, um, what you call this, Killmonger, di ba? Yes. Nung unang nakita ko to, it was pink. Um, so, I guess my uh, question yes. is, di ba? So, I guess my question is, um, gaano ka nipis ang paint na to? Or, nagli-layer ka ng paints, di ba? Kasi, wow. Uh, no, di yeah. ba? So, gaano ka nipis or gaano ka, ka diluted ang paint before you can? Kasi, um, I've been using Tamiya paints, nandito yan. Mm-hmm. Um, and, kailangan mo pa i-thin. Well, hindi naman, pero kay, uh, better pag naka-thin siya, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, having said that, um, yun, gaano ka tagal ang isang... Um, isang piece, ano yung current process from priming mm-hmm. um, or do you use sanding pa? Tell us mm-hmm. more about the, the the process behind it, please. Okay, sige. Uh, first question is, gaano ka ni piece? Yes. Okay, sige. Ang dami so, uh, for, when, when painting, um, uh, for base coating, which is just, ilalagay yeah, like, yung basic color, mm-hmm. makapal siya parang straight out of the bottle, ilalagay ko lang. Okay. okay. And then, pag nandun na yung uh, main, nandun na yung base colors nilang lahat, um, and then, I use thinner paints. Uh, okay. For thinning the paints, I use water, and surprisingly, laway. Parang, <laughs> as in, I'm not kidding, parang ano, uh, parang, I would paint, mm-hmm. and kasi ano, um, seriously, yung laway, okay, hindi ako, I, I don't spit. Hindi ako dumudura sa, ano, sa palette ko. But uh, sometimes when I paint, uh, what I do is, teka, I'll... Like, sige nga. Sige, sige. Yeah. Um, and to answer Frank Fra, uh, Fazeta, yeah. fantasy so, painter. Yeah, so here. So, this is the brush. So, mag-paint ako. And then, makapansin ko na parang hindi na siya diretsyo. Ganun lang. So, okay. ginagamit yung laway ko to straighten it up. Okay. So just there. So ganun lang. And then syempre magkakalaman siya. I I just I just keep on mixing it. So there. Um <laughs> galing. In <laughs> in technique na kina, uh, kinagamit ko for ano, for that. So base paint and then this mm. is something I got from YouTube. Okay. Um Kujo painting. It's called uh fat glazing. Um basta basically it's a no it's uh it's pretty thin mm-hmm. as ano to the point na pag ilagay mo siya sa piece of paper semi transparent na kasi oh. it's the only way talaga na ano you can get smooth blends for me anyway it's one of it's a technique na naging comfortable ako mm-hmm. i keep applying thin uh thin layers i see all right so Sobrang patong-patong lang na thin layers and then you you get the mix of the colors. Ang well, na inaingit ako dahil ang galing niyo sa kulay, especially you when it comes to the mixing. Kasi nung babalik ko lang ha, nung una mm-hmm. nakita ko or nung unang pinost ni ni Pao to, ladies and gentlemen, it's pink. Um, yes. was that the was that the base color? Um it was ano, actually it's from Milo in the chat. Siya yung nag-suggest. Kasi mm-hmm. parang ano with miniature painting kasi, um, the nature of the paint themselves is they're transparent. So parang, if I painted something that's all black, even if I painted white on top of it, it's not really that white. And if I paint, and if the mini is all white naman, pinatarahan ko siya, it's going to look really bright. So parang nag reflect yung paint under. So, the suggestion by Milo was maglagay ka ng violet or red under the brown skin tone. Parang the idea is, ano, the red will show through the browns. Magbumukha siya buhay. So, I 
I tried pink. Just because, ano, hindi ko nagamit yung color na pink madalas. So, I painted it pink, and then I painted it dark brown. And then, napansin ko siya, kasi I used the dark brown paint before. With the pink under it, mas pula siya ng konti. Just konti lang to the, to the point, oh, okay, yeah, parang ano, parang may dugo sa ilalim ng balat. So, that's the idea for the pink. Oh, I think, nakamute ka? Oh, or, sorry. Yeah, yan. <laughs> yeah, nakamute, yeah. But, yan. Papakita ko lang, ito yon, ito yung pink uh, yeah. part. And you did see, uh, mention na may mga challenges talaga tong figure when you did it. Mm-hmm. Uh, diba? But uh, anyway, going back, I think yung na, na-encounter ko rin yung term, it's it's called an undertone, if I'm not yes. mistaken. Yan na, mm-hmm. undertone yung... Kasi, I mean, um, each race daw, sabi, uh, just for ano na, supplementary sa ating watchers, um, na, na, na banggit nila na each race would have their own different undertone, like uh, yellowish for uh, Chinese or some Asians, brownish mm-hmm. sa iba naman, di ba? So, point is, um, Paul Pao has been experimenting and they work um, and uh, has been recreating these uh, great techniques. Ang galing lang din. We see them into action. Um, na, from theory, nakakatuwa lang din ako, natutuwa ako dahil theory ko siya nakikita or na, na, alam or nabasa. Ngayon, nakikita ko siya in your case eh, sa mga ginagawa mo. At yun nga, balik ko lang sa mga comments ha. Mm-hmm. Um, Inabot si Frank Sinatra ni. Eh. They're uh, <laughs> bashing on each other right now. Just kidding. But Milo mentioned that he's a fantasy painter, uses limited colors uh, that is quite dark. Look up uh, Death Dealer, sabi niya. Yan. We will uh, later on. Mm-hmm. He's an artist for Heavy Metal Magazine, fantasy art din. A good reference. Yan. Okay. Oh, yan. Sige. I'll we check will. him out. Sige, let's let's do that. Uh, and uh, Sarah Jane says, ang galing. Yeah, um, yun nga eh. Kaya natin kinakausap si Pao ngayon kasi um, the the work is really, para sa akin, uh, very sounding. And samahan mo pa ng magaling na ano to, no? Mas, uh, what do you call this? Magaling na toy photographer. Wala na, GG na to. <laughs> diba? Uh, uh, diba? Uh, natutuwa lang din ako dahil I, I get to... Uh, I get to learn a lot kasi babalik ko din sa point ko kanina one of the mm-hmm. reasons why is most co- most of the members uh, or actually most of the collectors na out of the box collectors would paint their figures just to improve on it like ma- kahit na mm-hmm. ano lang kahit na uh, top coat lang ng mat uh, just to uh, mute the shininess mm-hmm. of the plastic di ba? Uh, mm-hmm. mamaya magtatanong tayo sa ng ilang mga points but anyway let's talk about the recent works mo, um, last na lang siguro, is, uh, I think, yan, si Hulk. Um, ito okay. ba? Ito yung latest na pinaint mo, no? Tama ba? Na, na Hulk? Uh, or... He's, ano, after Modoc. Mm-hmm. Yan na yun. Uh, Kasi may, uh, may le- after Hulk, I painted Black Panther and then Killmonger. I see. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, Anyway, nakaka- nakakakita mm-hmm. ko dito ng highlights, lowlights. Um, he's a huge figure and... Um, Ang ganda rin ng details. I guess the question is, uh, when it comes to a reference or when it comes to painting, because these figures come into you, di ba? Na, uh, mm-hmm. Pre-built, you, you paint them, di ba? Uh, you yes. don't need to mold uh, or change anything. Or has there mm-hmm. even come a time na kailangan mong lagyan ng something in sa base niya perhaps or sa ulo niya that you have to modify it um, for you to achieve a certain result? Or do you just mainly paint para ma-achieve yung result na gusto mo? Um, usually, you know, I paint them as is, but mm-hmm. there have been times that I had to modify them. Primarily, because mm-hmm. the late ng scale, and sometimes um, may parts na madaling masira. Because these are gimmick uh-huh. pieces, so uh-huh. um, I I modify them, but not extensively. I want to, but they're gimmick mm-hmm. pieces that means uh-huh. they'll be handled a lot. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, minimal modifications para for it to look good pero at the same time maging sturdy siya. Sturdy pa, yeah. Uh, Kasi so masisira-sira eh, no? If oh, ever. Hawakan sila yeah. ng mga bata, ganun. So, yeah. ayun. Um, yeah, for him, this one is, uh, this one's just pretty much out of the box. Ang, ang, ang modifications siya would be, ano, um, magtatanggal ng seam lines, nag-fill ng gaps, parang gun oh. plan din. 
Yeah, okay. So, when it, sabi mo, para siya model kit, no? So, mm-hmm. it, it comes out of the box, um, nasa sprue, kaka, yes. tatanggalin yung, tama, no? It's like yes. gantla rin. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. And para sa akin kasi, I mean, how I see them are uh, figures na, yun ang tingin ko, ah, na mm-hmm. para siya nakamold na and then you just paint them. Kasi, I guess, yung Warhammer lang din ang nasa utak ko. But, mm-hmm. wow. Kung, thank you dahil um, mas na-appreciate ko siya dahil hindi ko alam na model kits pala itong mga to. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> now, mamaya, mamaya, hingan ka namin ng mga tips, overall tips sure. when it comes to everything else. When you babalik ko lang sa sa tanong, uh, when you when you when you paint something, mm-hmm. um, what are mostly your references? Uh, like kona re, meron siyang meron siyang reference figure, same pose, or do you have or do you come up with your own highlights, lowlights? Kasi nakaka, nakikita ko dito, um, may highlights and lowlights, uh, shadows, right? Mm-hmm. Um, ang ganda ng midtones, ang ganda ng yun nga, ang ganda ng contrast ng details. Mm-hmm. So yeah, what what's your main reference point when it comes to um, painting. Okay. Uh, ang tawag doon is ano, zenithal priming. Zenithal priming. Tell us more, okay. please. <laughs> okay, sige. So, diba, basically, ano, I assemble them, mm-hmm. and then mag-fill ng gaps, mag-clean up ng scenes. So, they're color gray na. Teka, kuha ko. Sige nga. <laughs> Buti na lang katabi natin ang kanyang workspace. <laughs> so, yan. Okay. Ah. Ayan, so katabi ko lang na may studio ko. Ayan, Ayan, so this is an example of zenithal priming. Not sure you can see it. Ayan. So the mm-hmm. idea is uh, you prime it in black and then mm-hmm. you prime it in white from the top para oh. ano, makita mo kung saan babagsak yung ilaw assuming that the light is directly on top of the figure. So y- siya yung sinusunod ko on, on where wow. to place the highlights and the shadows. Kasi that was also my big problem when it started. Parang, uh-huh. ano ba tong highlights ito? Ano ba tong shadows ito? Kasi, when when you place highlights on a mini, it feels weird. Kasi parang, parang binababoy ko siya kasi it doesn't look natural uh-huh. until you start doing it more. So, ayun. That's, doon ako na sanay na zenithal priming yung basis ko. Ang kaling. <laughs> Alright. I mean, it made sense nung, nung pinakita mo yung figure tapos, yun nga, yung saan yung bato ng ilaw. Um, kasi that, that's something that most of our watchers can relate right now because um, we have majority na toy photographers. So, marami ang naglalaro sa ilaw din talaga dito. So, the people definitely can relate. Tanong ni Carlos Serra is, gumagamit daw kayo ng Jedi powers para sa mga maliliit na details? <laughs> Hindi, ano lang talaga. Um, magnifying glass. Magnifying glass lang. Yeah. Yun lang din talaga. Well, lang. I, I can't say lang. Magnifying glass. Ang hirap pa rin yan. Nakakahilo. <laughs> yeah, tsaka ano, huwag ka mag-coffee before kasi mang, manginginig yung kabay mo. Oh, so, yeah. Shoot. <laughs> yeah. Napatingin sa kape. Anyway, um, <laughs> ang ganda. <laughs> Sobrang na-appreciate ko yung gawa mo. I mean, um, I can't say um, enough na ako natutuwa ako personally. And sa techniques din lang, um, ngayon pa lang mm-hmm. marami na ako natutunan eh. But anyway, um, siguro ano, just, ay may question pala. Uh, set of proof po ba ang magnifying glass? <laughs> ang kulit um, ni Carla Zen. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I think so. Kasi ano siya, I got it sa bangketa lang. Ako na sa bangketa. Seryoso. So, Alaga? Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. If, if, you know, I've been using it for years na. And yeah. It's it's not Jedi approved at the very least. So, okay. <laughs> gray mark. Gray siya. Gray siya. Alright. So, I mean, sa alam naman natin, di ba Jedi ka naman ever since? Tama, mm-hmm. no? Never ka nag-exist, yes. no? Naalala ko lang uh, din eh. Kasi no. ever since, mga naglalaro-laro pa tayo at <laughs> Nag- nagtitrain tayo sa, uh, what do you call this, uh, Ayala Triangle. Yes. I've never seen you use a red saber. Aside from the mm-hmm. purple one, right? That's the yes. closest. Um, balik natin sa, ano, la- last, siguro, last question na lang dito. Mm-hmm. Ano yung pinaka- masaya kang ginawa or sa lahat ng mga ginawa mo ano pinaka memorable para sa very the most fulfilling sa lahat ng ginawa mo yung pinaka fulfilling yeah or at least enjoyable i don't know the process perhaps um i would say si black panther if you can find the picture for it yeah hanapin ko nga sige 
But yeah, tell us more habang hinahanap ko siya. Okay, sige. So ano, with Black Panther kasi, um, I'm a fan of Chadwick Boseman. So I hmm. wanted to go for the MCU look. So it, so it has to be black. And then, if mapansin mo rin during the movies, para rin power up yung suit niya, may lines crisscrossing it in violet, in purple. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to convey na it's black, pero purple at the same time. Mm. And then I just went with um with a desert base kasi um violet uh purples and yellows are I, I'm not a big art major so I'm sorry pero they are opposite colors in the color wheel so pag pinagtabi mo sila mas dara sila ni pop out ah uh, complementary uh, yata yung uh, ano yun, Com- sorry complementary colors yata ang yes tawag complim- I think so <laughs> sorry mm-hmm. so yeah I think it's complementary colors ba parang yeah. yung jersey ng LA Lakers yes, kaya siyang matingkad uh, so that's what I wanted and then one thing then na natutunan ko with painting black is ano siya you can't just paint it like any other color parang if you add too much highlights it's it becomes gray so the technique was kailangan 25% is the highlight. The remaining 75% has to be black. So mm-hmm. I tried my best to do that here. And then, ano siya, yung, yung miniature kasi, it has lines crossing across the body. So, mm-hmm. ayun, I, I painted them in purple. This one, I think natapos ko siya in a week plus a few days. Normally, may process kasi from painting is two weeks plus. Mm-hmm. So this one went faster than I was expecting. And ayun, it's ano, it's very rewarding naman kasi nga no, yeah. Yeah, kasi for you know, Chadwick Boseman, etc. So yeah, I I like this one the most currently. Nice. I love it. Uh, ako din, eh, isa sa mga gusto ko to sa go- well, lahat halos nagawa mo gusto ko eh. Favorite ko pa rin si Modok. Uh, sa lahat. You. Although I'm not a fan of Modok, I I am fan of the Modok that you did. Um tawag ni, sabi ni Juniko, kasali ka sa Pilipintado, si, ano, nandun ka sa group, di ba? Tama ba? Yes, uh, I'm a member, yes. Alright, so. Yeah, I ta- share my posts there. Um, sabi ni Carlo, Sarah, mm-hmm. uh, ta- sa tatu kasi gumagamit ng lighter shade of blues to substitute for whites. Did you ever try that? Uh, yes, I have. Um, I know, when I, when, when I was painting Space Wolves, um, Mm-hmm. Yung whites ko, ang shadows, uh, it goes from pure white into blues para magmukha siya malami. Kasi space wolves, they are uh, space in vikings space. Uh-huh. Uh, in an ice world. <laughs> so parang I wanted to convey it as cold. So kasi with whites, yung nga, you, you, can, you can make it warm by using mm-hmm. yellows and browns mm-hmm. or greens. You know, it's, there, there's a lot more. Pero yeah, uh, using blue is a very legitimate na strategy in painting white. Nice. Uh, all right. So, uh, thank you for confirming that. So, mm-hmm. Same reason why violet and yellow ang ultimate scheme ni T'Challa, Killmonger, respectively. Yes. Uh-huh. Diba sa movie, uh-huh. yung power uh-huh. of suit sila magkaiba? True. Actually, ayaw nga, no? Ang galeng, ang galeng. All right. So, all right. Um, hinahanap ko Space Wolves, eh. Um, last siguro, I was curious about this. Uh, let's go to this one ano ano tag dito uh, anong uh, anong scale uh, or what what's this um, picture that you sent me all about tell us more okay the, those are the movement templates and range templates for marvel crisis protocol so ah. two, three, four, five. kasi um so may mga characters na pag sumuntok sila it's range 2 May characters uh-huh. when they're fire lasers, it's range five. So that's uh-huh. how you know na okay, abot ko yung character mo pag binaril ko. Okay. And then the left, medium, I sorry, sorry, long, medium, and short on the right, those yeah. are movement, movement templates. You can uh-huh. bend them. Yeah, I you see. can bend them. That's for and movement. Did you paint the beast? Yes. Then? Wow. How, yeah, how so big are gray. these one? Um. Be- yeah. Oh, exactly. Two. Ay, sakto. Ang galing, ha? <laughs> Prepare tayo. Okay, yeah. so yan na yung five. Yan na yung longest. So, yeah, this okay. is the five. And then, this is the short one. Yeah, there. You can bend it. 
Nice one. Ah, kasi pwede ka mag-move ng ano, ng uh, to a different block kasi one, two. Tama ba? Tama yes, interpretation uh, ko? Yes. Alright. Uh, nice. Well, nakakatuwa lang din. <laughs> Alam, galing. Ang detailed pa rin eh, no? I mean, di, i, pwedeng, pwede mong ano to eh. Pwedeng hindi na detailed to eh. But <laughs> you took the effort uh, even sa, ano, sa light streaks. Uh, meron akong sukat. Meron din sukat ng one. Paki-explain. I don't know okay. what he means. Yeah, yeah. Tell us more. Um, so this is the two, right? Yep. Um, according to game rules, the one is the short side. That's okay. the one. Even if I use the five, uh-huh. this is also this is still a one. So yun lang. That's why it's two to five. The one is always the short side of the template. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, kasi well, ganon madalas sa, sa ibang board games. Ano pa bang ibang laro dito? Yung Final Fantasy Tactics. Mm-hmm. Follow the same one. <laughs> so, yeah. Because it's a square, diba? You're, uh, each character is on the square. Uh, Parang chess mm-hmm. in its essence, eh, diba? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. diba? Diba? Parang chess in its essence. So, yeah, may sukat din ng one. So, yun na yun. Kaya two. Mm-hmm. Uh, kaya two ang na to dahil meron ng one sa side. Thank mm-hmm. you for throwing that question, Junico. Um, and yeah, um, it's an hour na ng chikahan ng kwentuhan natin. Um, again, guys, uh, Maki Nation on the comment section. Ilalagay ko siya maya maya. Oh, may mm-hmm. pahabol ng question. Uh, hopefully, we can answer this. Have you tried sure. building building scenes with your miniatures and translating that to photography? It's a good question. Huh. Um, I have trained for ano uh, for mm-hmm. Marvel Crisis Protocol. There's buildings, posts, trash cans, cars. So I have the pieces for scene. Pati mapa actually. Okay. Meron akong a 3x3 three three map na okay. may nakaprint na nakalsada. Yes, I have, I can do a scenes. Pero, unfortunately, ano, um, my photography skills are very, very basic. As in, ano, parang at talagang ano, nakafocus ako sa painting na mm-hmm. for photography, all I need talaga is the bare minimum for it to look decent. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. ayun. But it's something that I know I want to explore. Then eventually, it's something I'm interested, you know, in studying. Yeah, and then kami pa, and then kami mahakatulong naman sa yon because you've inspired us. I mean, it's it's us giving it back. Ako personally, ah, uh, pwede mm-hmm. nating ano niyan, ah, uh, pagandahin palalo ang magawa mo, or at least malang it translated well. Because sometimes, um, I'm not I'm not sure if you've noticed this, but sometimes phone cameras don't do much justice on, or at least the camera don't do much justice on what you did. Iba na kita mm-hmm. mo sa na kita ng camera, de ba minsa? Oh so, yeah. So that's something that we can help you with. So hopefully we can collaborate more on that. Oh, sure. Ano, collab, collab tayo sa ganun part. Sure. Milo says, hala pinta, Paolo. So yan. <laughs> or yeah. Photoshop, sabi ni Christian Cabrera, who's a master on, on Photoshop. <laughs> and that's something yeah. that um, yeah, well, definitely we can help you with uh, for this one. And, mm-hmm. and you take commissions, di ba? Um, do they message you on your page? Um, do they message you personally? Or okay na sa Instagram? Um, and, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, pwedeng personal, pwedeng Instagram, pwedeng through the machination page. I'm, ano, I'm mm-hmm. open naman. Uh, yeah, I, I can I can take commissions. Yeah, and so yeah, and, uh, guys, so yon. So when it, if you're interested, let uh, let Pao know uh, because message nyo lang ang page which I will post on the comment section. Last but not the least, eto na last na kuling last na talaga na no? kuling last. Um, Pao. Tell us, or uh, can you give us like tips, tricks on beginning when it comes to painting miniatures or painting in general? Um, and okay. Sige, pwede na tayo sa, sa miniatures then, kasi mm-hmm. um, some of them can be translated into six-inch figures, twelve-inch figures. Mm-hmm. Um, tips, tricks for beginners, intermediate, and probably advanced. Yeah. Okay. Um, for beginners. Hmm. For beginners. For beginners. Um, something that I appreciate ko when I started was, um, yun, uh, if you're beginning, do zenithal priming. Para mm-hmm. lang, ano, even if hindi ka sure kung sa lalagay highlights and shadows, yun, you can do the zenithal priming, take a picture, and then pag nilagay mini colors, you can attempt to place your highlights and shadows. Um, if you're beginning, wag kang mag-stress about it being smooth. It, it, like, next, ano na yun eh, um, hindi maliko, parang, I stress agad na, 
grabe ibang tao ang 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 kinis ng pagkakagawa. So one, mm-hmm. it's okay lang parang um feel comfortable with placement ng highlights and shadows. Uh, so yun, there, central priming. Mm-hmm. Um for intermediate ano nga ba? Um intermediate what ano bang ano? Nasa, Sige, uh, intermediate and advanced na. Sige. Sige. Uh, is it is that one category or Sige, pwede different? na natin pag-isahin. Pwede okay, pwede na sige. siguro. The um ano na lang. Uh, uh, for those eight years, hindi ako nagpipintura the entire eight years. Um, mm-hmm. When I started painting, na-burn out ako kasi parang, mm-hmm. honestly, ang pangit ang gawa ko kumpara sa iba, parang um, mm-hmm. expectation ko was pag unang hataw ko, masterpiece agad, which is mm-hmm. hindi naman talaga mangyayari. So, uh, for intermediate, it's ano, practice ng practice, mm-hmm. do the grind, kasi parang ano, you do your best effort and then after nun, doon do malang ma-realize na, okay, this can be a little bit better. So mm-hmm. next time, I can do better. And then, on that note, wag mo nang balikan yung ginawa mo. Kasi if babalikan mo sila, hindi ka matatapos. Parang, it's matuto ka when to say enough is enough. And ah. then, okay na yon Yeah. Ano, um, Ayun, so just do do your best and then mm-hmm. take ano take take your lessons. Um, if there's a painting group like the Philippine Tados page, um, mm-hmm. yeah, you can post there and then ask for feedback. Um, pag feedback, um, it can ano uh, also ano yon. So what uh, one of the comments kaniya ni Chris was, "Bakit eight years na ako ni paint pero la mm-hmm. late lang ako nag nag like the post yes. pictures kasi well, kasi ano siya it's ano it's yung pinapakita ko it's parang ano you're exposing yourself to the world na parang okay guys ito lang kaya ko so ano pa ba how far do i need to go um it took me a long time to get to the point na i think this is good enough to show for everyone and then sige guys pingin naman na feedback how can i do better ganun as yung nga, um I'm surprised na on on those eight years hindi ako nagpipintura lagi most of the time no 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 ako I watch people paint on YouTube it's sadly pretty boring kasi nakakantok siya even if I'm really trying to understand kung ano yung yare medyo nakakantok siya pero ayon parang even if I'm not doing the grind I put the time in I watch I watch people paint I study different techniques. There's you know, dry brushing, there's layering, there's glazing, fat glazing, dry brushing. And then, parang, I studied a lot of different techniques. So we're moving on to advanced. Ayun, so parang, broaden your mind. Um, each color has, there's different ways to represent each color. Like sinabi ko kanina, if it's black, you can't just highlight it normally. 75% has to be black. Um, there's a, there are different rules for reds, for greens, for whites, for yellows. So if you're interested, feel free to ask me. I can give you tips. Ayun, um, there are some small differences on how to paint them. Basically, it came to a point na I know all these tools. And then, nung nagpa-paint na ako, I'm not stressing on what technique parang kailangan wet blending to, kailangan layering to, kailangan glazing to. I just do kung ano yung kailangan ng figure. Parang nagano na ako. I was in the zone. Parang okay for this one, dry brush kasi hindi naman siya titignan ng mga tao. For this one, malapad siya. So we're going to do wet blending. For this one, nako mukha pala to. So kailang I have to put in more effort. So let's do let's layer it and then soften the layers with glazing. So, ayun, um, there's a lot of painting jargon na binabat ako. Pero, there, um, just, ano, just study. Uh, there's a lot of resources in YouTube. Um, I can share them to you. They're, uh, they're all very famous YouTube pages naman. Ayun. 
And then, uh, yeah, th- I think that's it. Ano pala, Chris, kanina you were asking me about my painting process. I, I have the time. Yeah, sure, sure. That, uh. Yes, definitely. Um, well, bago ang lahat, uh, a few mm-hmm. comments lang din while you were giving us tips. Um, for beginners daw ba, wala bang hingahan <laughs> when it comes to painting? <laughs> Does it happen um, to you? Yeah. Actually, yes. Seryoso to, ah. Uh, if you're doing eyes, the eyes are crazy small. Teka, can you see this here? Teka. Sige nga, wait. Right, right. It's there. But yeah, it's really small. Uh, um, seryoso to. Ang tinuro sa akin dati is, pag when you're going to paint the eyes, parang sure. sniper. Diba? Mm. Uh, sa movies, pag snipers, they say na, bago mo, pinutin yung trigger, breathe out, and then press. So okay. parang all the air is out. So parang same then. So, uh, hinga. <laughs> and then, uh, exhale, tapos, brush strokes. Ganun. I see steady. Ganda. Yeah, so yeah, hindi hihinga. And then, um, para din steady yung hands mo, uh, um, you try to put your arm on the table, so it's okay. more stable. And then, there's also this technique, which is parang wrist to wrist. Alright. Ayan. And so, uh, so yeah, uh, when, I, when I paint there, that's how I do it. Ayan. Uh, Oh nga, no? Ang galing. Um, la, siguro, ano, pahagingan na rin natin. Um, mm. ab- ha- what do you do about um, brush strokes? Which, for us, mm. na mga sobrang beginner, um, although, ano, marami na kaming, isa sa mga challenges, I would say. Um, para sa akin kasi, like, model kits. Brush strokes mm. ang pinakakalaban, unless it's dry brushing, di ba? Uh, uh, but, yeah, tell us more. Do, do you, how do you, um, what do you call this? How do you, uh, avoid uh, brush strokes? Um, basically, you know, uh, uh, to, uh, no, you, there's, a, there's a famous guy in Warhammer. He's called Duncan mm-hmm. Rhodes. And he's famous for the coat na two thin coats. Parang, if something can be done in one coat, do it in two thin coats. So basically, parang when it doubt, thinner is better. All right. And basically, um, yeah, thinner is better. Ano talaga? So parang if you want it to look good, you have to put in the time. Mm-hmm. So that means normally it would take you one layer. It might, it will take you two to three to get the same coverage. Pero yung nga, um, walang brush strokes and then the small details like the eyes, hindi sila natatakpan ng excess paint kasi you're putting in thin layers. And iniisip ko na lang din, na the reason why I'm painting the miniature two to three times all over is minimemorize ko siya. Parang, okay, oh. so nung pinipinturahan ko to, like for example, nung kilikili, ang hirap abutin. So that mm-hmm. means, pag pipinturahan ko na siya after the base layer, unahin ko yung mga parts na mahirap abutin. Yung mga pinakamadali, usually the arms, the face, later on na. So parang I do the interior parts first. Mm-hmm. So yun, yun. Nice. Um, and uh, a few more comments. Mm-hmm. Um, but if uh, starting pa lang, wag mag, uh, no? wag fret. Wag, don't fret on uh, decent eyes. O nga naman, di ba? Most likely mm-hmm. duling yan. But uh, don't fret on it. You're beginning. Um, nice. Parang paghawak pa lang sa cam para stable na lang. Parang para kung wala kang tripod. Yeah, actually, mm-hmm. it, it, we can relate when it comes to that para hindi blurry yung pictures. Um, okay. Tsaka nakakatuwa rin yung sinasabi mong reddish yung yellow. Uh, minsan sasabihin yung reddish yung bluish yung red. Tapos sasabihin nila, paano yun? <laughs> um, Have you I, ever I seen this? Yeah? Yes. Um, usually, ano siya, there's two approaches to that. Parang, mm-hmm. oh, sorry, parang sabihin nila parang reddish gray or yellowish brown. Parang sa umpisa, <laughs> eh, parang, ano yun? It's just brown. Uh-huh. It's just red. Bakit? Pero when, when you start miniature painting, and daming, ano, there's a lot of colors. Parang, mm-hmm. like purple. Di ba kasi purple is a combination of red and blue. Mm-hmm. So if you go too much red, it's red. It's more red if, you're go, if you go too much blue, it's more blue. Mm-hmm. If you add gray, it becomes desaturated. Yan, ganyan. Um, uh, for painting, there's, ano, there's, um, there's two approaches to that. Parang, for example, uh, if you're painting green, there's two approaches mm. to it. You yep. can paint green, and then for your highlights, 
you keep adding white or you mm-hmm. keep adding yellow. Mm. And then sometimes, I've tried this before with Dr. Octopus. I dry, I painted the suit as green and then for the highlight, it's ano siya? It's, um, ayun, so you can see the gloves. They're a different shade of green doon sa para main suit niya, the gloves and the boots. So the gloves and the boots, they are, I'd say, the regular green painted with white. Tapos, I, that's the suit. Yung gloves mm-hmm. and boots, these are parang grayish green, yung parang ginagamit sa camo. I mm-hmm. painted them with a highlight na a mix of white, green, and some blue. Kaya medyo malamig yung dating niya. So that's one approach. You keep you just add, you know, you add a little bit of a certain color to make it interesting. And then the other approach is yung napag-usapan namin kanina ni Chris, which is the undertoning. Diba? So if you want, if you're, you know, if you're painting Asian skin, kulay mo siya ng yellow underneath mm-hmm. it. And then you do a uh, normal Caucasian skin. Maybe, in theory, it should mm-hmm. look more yellow. I haven't tried Asian skin yet. So, so, uh, so far, it's just African and Caucasian. But yun, um, the red uh, helps. Nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, balik natin sa, sa process mm-hmm. mo. From the start to the end. Yeah, tell us mm-hmm. about the journey ng isang figure from from the sprue. Sige, simulan natin sa sprue. Sige. Okay, so sa sprue, um, parang gantla. Uh, may cutter ako na specific for plastic. Hindi siya yung pang hardware lang. Yep. Um, I, I cut them, assemble them. Uh, for assembly these days, I use Tamiya plastic cement. Kasi ano mm-hmm. siya. Um, pero sometimes I still use Mighty Bond or Loctite. Ganun. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the reason why I use Tamiya plastic cement is gusto ko yung ano niya. Um, tinutunaw niya yung plastic and then so what I do is I intentionally apply just a little too much plastic cement and then I squish them. So, kung may mm. gaps, nag- okay. natutunaw na agad. So, parang, okay, liha na lang, tapos na. Pero yes. there are some parts na malaki na yung gap. So, I have to use fillers. Um, there's um, liquid green stuff from mm-hmm. Citadel. There's um, seam destroyer for armored komodo. So, may mga ganun na ginagamit okay. to fill. So, after that, I prime them. I have always primed using uh, zenithal priming lagi, black, black all around, and then konting white lang from the top. Parang hindi ka makasi habul na puti talaga siya. I just want, I just want to see kung nasaan yung highlights dapat. Ayun na. Mm-hmm. And then painting wise, uh, Chris, feel free to stop if meron Yeah, sure, sure. Malabo. May go ahead. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So far, nag enjoy ako. So, cut, um, liha, ay, sorry, cut, um, tamiya, cement, uh, mm-hmm. li- if needed, liha, of course, and then, nasa na tayo? Um, priming? Priming, yes. So, mm-hmm. yun. Tell us more. Okay. Okay, so, priming, ay, ayun, um, so, okay, so, since maulan ngayon, um, ay, wait, so, ang ginagamit kong primer is Bosni, which is mm-hmm. the hardware, lagi na sa hardware mm-hmm. lang, hindi ako gumagamit ng expensive primer. Not yet anyway. Some people have told me it's worth it. Siguro mm-hmm. if it's a competition piece, mag-invest ako. Pero since mm-hmm. these are gaming pieces naman, okay lang. Um, ayun, I use Bosni primer. And then, so with primer, make sure to shake it really well. And then, uh, one, uh, wag mag-prime pag maulan or humid mm-hmm. ng panahon like ngayon. So, um, I want to prime pero umuulan eh. So, magantay akong Mainit, mm-hmm. balit sa akin yung panahon para hindi humid. Um, the, uh, one technique na tinuro sa akin before was yeah, like yung yung primer sa kumukulon tubig. Mm. Parang the idea is, well, gusto mo lang siya mainit, hindi na warm to the touch, pero hindi nakapaso. Parang yep. the idea is, if it's, if it's warm, the pressure is more stable, yun, you can prime mm-hmm. with that. So ah. I always do that. Alright. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Sige. And so yeah, I do zenithal priming, which is black, and then some white over. And then for the painting process, um, natutunan kong technique was ano, to pick two colors. 
So the option is to go complementary or the other one. Um, I wait. So parang ganon. You go. Uh, if my so parang for example, si Shuri, um, I want. Gusto ko sundin yung color scheme niya sa MCU, which was black and blue. Mm-hmm. And then, syempre, ano ba yung opposite ng blue sa color wheel? It's orange. So, mm-hmm. I'm going to incorporate orange colors as, ano, to make it interesting. So, uh, painting-wise, what I do is, ano muna, um, base coating. So, just base coating muna. Or, un, uh, Um, yeah, so base coating, and then after base coating, clean up para mm-hmm. to make sure na maayos yung separation of colors. And then, unang ginagawa yung base. Kasi usually pag base, hindi ako, nag- okay. hindi ako nagtotodo effort. I use dry brushing mm-hmm. or wet blending techniques mm-hmm. na makalat. So I do the base, and then I do, ano, I do the... Then I start adding highlights and shadows to the base color of the other parts. In mm-hmm. order ng parts, I usually go for the parts na mahirap abutin, like kilikile or mm-hmm. what uh, or something. Parang anong part yung mahirap abutin, siya yung una kong gagawin. Kasi pag mahirap abutin, chances are uh, matatamaan may ibang parts along the way. Ah, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, para bumilis ako, hindi ko na ini-stress na pag may mali, inis agad. So I just mm-hmm. do the hardest parts and then uh, tsaka ko nakiklean up after. Alright. Ano pa ba? Ayun. Ayun, Ayun so, na. Detailing na, na lang. Ayun oh, na yun mm-hmm. eh. No? Kasi last part was detailing na lang din yun nga. Nabanggit mo, clean up na after mong um, hard to easy and then clean up after. Na yes. Lang and, din, then, no? <clears throat> and then varnish, lastly. Yung bit- A varnish. Ito yung top coat mo, kumbaga. Tama, mm-hmm. no? Oo. Nice. To seal in the paint. Para sa mga hindi nakaka, ano, I mean, yun yung purpose nun eh. Tama, no? Mm-hmm. In, to, to seal in the paint. And also, um, depende sa, sa finish na gusto mo. Some should be glossy, very glossy. Mm-hmm. Some not, di ba? Yes. Right. Now, comment, uh, Valle- Vallejo, sana, baka naman daw, bigyan nyo yung talent na to. <laughs> <laughs> baka naman. Um, and, uh, Viva um, May Pinoy made na paints. Armored Komodo, yung mga napag-usapan natin kanina. No? And, and uh, si Arcus. Yeah, yeah, Arcus Paints. Arcus Paints. Uh, matunog, matunog yung dalawa. Especially si Armored Komodo. Lalo mm-hmm. sa Gunpla uh, and Zoids World. So, yun. Nakaka-relate ka uh, mga nag-Zoids and nag-Gunpla dito. Sobra sa'yo. Yun, ang, ang ganda ng process. Kasi, tawag dito, um, may puso para sa akin. Uh, Arkom pala. Arkom din. Arkom, Arcus, and uh, Zerk. Zerk. Yan. And yun, Armored Komodo. Ayun, uh, Armored Komodo si Arkom. Um, mm-hmm. Having said that, yun nga, may puso. Um, hindi lang <laughs> papasadaan. Kasi ako, I'm very impatient. Not only in posting my photos, and also um, creating or painting. Uh, niridu ko nga kanina si ano eh, si what you call this si I- Iron Kong kasi sumobra naman ng dry brushing so anyway having said that um, yun, it's very inspiring that really patience takes its uh, time or uh, take take your time when it comes to um, creating and patience lang then goes a long way um, nakikita natin yun sa mga gawa mo And I'm really, really glad na meron akong, meron akong tropa na magaling na mag-paint. Uh, and again, guys, uh, he takes commissions. Um, these are yet to be painted. Tama, no? Hindi pa napipaint sila Thanos. Yes. Uh, sisimula yeah. ko pa lang. Yeah. Yan. Yeah, abangan natin yan. And if you want to get updated, um, Maki or Machination is on uh, the comment section. Uh, please like the page. And also, uh, you can follow Pao on uh, Instagram. He posts... Uh, his uh, work on Instagram as well. So, yun. Maraming maraming salamat, Pao. Um, we've learned a lot. Sobra, sobra. And para sa akin, ako mismo, na-inspire ako na um, pagtrabahohan ng lahat ng mga ginagawa namin na to. I mean, take time uh, to create a, a masterpiece, di ba? Kasi uh, it's a masterpiece and it should be a masterpiece that should um, have care and that's what we see in your work, di ba? Um, that's a process na hindi pwedeng madalain. May mga madadali, like what you mentioned, mm-hmm. timing, and, di ba? And hindi naman lahat may, uh, mahirap, mm-hmm. pero 
if you want to put put the effort into it that's basically the, what i'm trying to drive and that's what what we see in you yeah and so salamat salamat sa yung oras um so yeah um any future <laughs> projects na uh, <laughs> you, okay, you're interested uh, in yeah okay uh future projects basically you know uh currently mm-hmm. yun, so i'm going to do shuri next after Shuri, Okoye, and then Spider Gwen, Spider Miles. Uh, okay. And then Asgardians, Black Order, and then Thanos, and then X Men, and then Brotherhood. So, in yung pipeline ko. Basically, tatapus ko lahat ng backlog ko for MCP. And then, if may commissions to sing it, why not? Um, uh, one thing na interesting is, ano, in Thanos, yep. I, ang plan ko is, ano, I saw someone. Uh, with their Thanos before. Ang ginawa niya, kasi diba si Thanos, he's a metal armor, tapos he has a blue suit. Yep. I saw mm-hmm. someone, yung blue suit, kinawa niya skin tone. So parang oh, sexy oh. Thanos. Oh. And, and parang, gusto siya seryosohin. Alright. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, nga, no? yeah. Parang 1980s na overly muscled na halos walang suot. Parang oh, human. Oh. Parang Ganun. human. So, yeah. yeah, I'm thinking of doing that. So... <laughs> Parang, Abangan namin yan, ah. Sige. So, the, I will do that it, as soon as I reach a thousand likes, which is matagal, ad- admittedly. A thousand followers. Matagal mm. pa yon. Pero, if there's a competition coming up, I'm going to, ano, put it in to- on top of the queue. Kasi it's in- mm. it's interesting. Mm. And wala lang. Parang, ano, it's, it's funny. Kasi parang, usually, people post their Thanos as very intimidating or scary. Mm. So, sa akin, gagawin ko, creepy and intimidating. In a very, <laughs> in a very awkward way. So oh, just, to, no? just to have fun. Yeah, and, and that's how I see you. You got some workflow, mo. Na sabi mo na, um, when we talked offline um, about your workflow, you just have fun doing it, and mas mas priority yung fun than stressing, because mm-hmm. it's your hobby that gives you uh, joy. Um, and mm-hmm. kaya sa commissions, diba? Um, mm-hmm. It's something that you also select then when it comes to commissions. Mm-hmm. So guys, um. Uh, Machi Nation, he doesn't bite. Uh, ask him, uh, ask him anything. Pao is one of the nicest people that I've met. Um, kaya nga siya nandito, um, regardless of what 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 the history is uh, sa group ng pinanggalingan namin. <laughs> but anyway, um, yun nga. Uh, we've kept in touch. Uh, Pao is a good. Uh, it's a good guy. He's a good guy. So reach him out. Um, Machi, Machi ba or Maki Nation? Ma- Maki Nation. Maki Nation. So, Maki Nation, uh, guys. Uh, and Paolo Garces on Instagram. Yeah. And so, uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you, Paolo. We've learned a lot. I, I personally learned a lot. Uh, I'm inspired to do a few <laughs> custom right now, actually. Maglalabas ako ng paint. Hindi, kaso malamig yan. But anyway, thank you. Thank you for your time. Uh, see you guys um, next week. Hopefully, magkaroon tayo ng, uh, or matuloy ang guesting natin with uh, Wesley because Wesley is... Um, Tawag dito. Wesley is gonna nagkaroon ng conflict sa schedule so hopefully matuloy let's see if that works and last week of the he's also a customizer pero custom na mga costumes yan um, yes yeah, so scratch built ng mga to Pat Cinco sa huli Ooh. ng buwan so stand by guys and uh, we'll see you guys next week for more geeky goodness uh, this has been Chris Lina along with the Paolo Garces here uh, Maki Nation see you guys next week paalam hmm. okay, bye bye Bye-bye. Yeah. So, salamat.